today's term from psychology is the Big Five Personality Theory. What is personality? Personality is an intuitive, easy concept for most of us to grasp. Basically, it's what makes you, you. It encompasses all the traits, characteristics, and quirks that set you apart from everyone else. The most prevalent personality framework for describing, investigating, and understanding personality is the Big Five or the five-factor model of personality. What makes this theory so usable is that it applies cross-culturally, and there is a valid and reliable assessment scale for measuring each of the five factors. That is, each of the five factors is a spectrum, not a simple either-or dichotomy, and it recognizes that a person's personality can change over time based on environment and age. Like so much of what we know about the things that make us human, such as language, there's a biological basis of personality and behavior with a learned overlay. The five factors of personality are openness to experience. This is measured on a scale that runs from the inventive curious end which I think of as the open to new experiences end, to the consistent cautious end, which I think of as the not open to new experiences end. The second factor is conscientiousness, which is measured on a scale that runs from the efficient, organized end to the easygoing, careless end. I think of these as the Felix Unger end and the Oscar Madison end. The third factor is extroversion, which is measured on a scale that runs from the outgoing, energetic end to the solitary, reserved end, or extrovert to introvert. The fourth factor is agreeableness, which is measured on a scale that runs from the friendly, compassionate end to the challenging, detached end, or as I call it, friendly to unfriendly. The fifth factor is neuroticism which is measured on a scale that runs from the sensitive nervous end to the secure confident end. People who don't exhibit a clear predisposition to a single trait in each factor above are considered adaptable, moderate, and reasonable. Yet they can also be perceived as unprincipled, inscrutable, and calculating. To many of us, this appears to be an advance on the extensively used Meyer-Briggs, that is, four-factor, personality type indicator that has so captivated the business world. Even so, a six-factor model has already been proposed to replace the five-factor model because it's claimed to give better results. The six factors, also called dimensions, are openness to experience, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, honesty, humility, and emotionality.